I've heard of a long-distance swimmer named Christopher Swain, who's got an attack story to tell. He takes me back to the place where he came face to face with a primitive creature from the deep. Can you take me through exactly what happened? I was in the midst of a 129 mile swim of the entire length of the lake. Most of the days were relatively uneventful. It's the same old thing. That day I'd been swimming for two or three hours already. The very first thing felt a lot like when your mobile phone's in your pocket and it vibrates. And the next thing I thought was that I'd caught on something. Sometimes it's a plant. But what plant could catch him in a hundred foot of water? So I reached down to brush whatever it was on my leg off. And I touched a living thing that was attached to me. There was uh, something uh, thicker than my wrist around that was moving like this that I just had a bit of a freak out. I don't, because it, what the next image that I saw when I put my goggles in was snake-like. I made another try to grab it, and it slimed right out of my hand. So this thing that's on your leg, it's writhing around, what was it? It turned out to be a, about three and a half, four foot long sea lamprey. Sea lampreys are survivors from the depths of time. Like aquatic vampires, the adults are blood parasites that attach to other fish to feed when in the ocean, but they head into freshwater to spawn. Their mouths are made up of a powerful suction disc lined with rows of needle-sharp teeth. In the center lies the ultimate weapon, a piston-like tongue tipped with rasping plates, which bores its way into its host. Once attached, it may feed for hours, days, or even weeks, growing fat on its prey's blood. I ended up pulling it off, and the first time I pull it off, it shot back on. They don't want to be removed. So I got a hold of the thing finally, and I managed to throw it. So I remember seeing it like in the air, like a snake flailing around and go fall. This thing, it, it somehow just short-circuited your rational response in a way? You know, I've been caught in lightning storms. I've swum through nuclear waste. I've been run over by boats. This is the thing that got to me the most. They're extremely fast, extremely aggressive, they're very hard to fight, they're very difficult to kill, and they want your blood and nutrients. I don't think I've met anybody with more injuries, more scars. He's been attacked by... With my last ounce of energy, I heave it in close, and then, only once it's